Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. So today's video is a really fun one. I don't usually do these like commentary types of videos, but I was just in the mood for it. I feel like there's been so many good makeup releases this fall. Well, I haven't tried them, so I don't know if they're good, but to me, they like are interesting to me. Like I would maybe purchase them. But yeah, I don't usually do these types of videos, but I really enjoy watching them. So if you wanna see me kind of talk about new makeup or new makeup releases, I guess, let me know and give this video a like. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. So everything I did screenshot from Trend Mood. So shout out to Trend Mood for, you know, always keeping us up to date with the makeup releases. I really appreciate that. Um, okay, where do I even begin? I guess we'll begin right here. So. When I first saw this, this is the 43 Beauty Pumpkin Face Polish. I believe it's like, it's an exfoliator and it's pumpkin scented, I guess. This, I feel like it's gone too far. I love pumpkin. I love a good pumpkin candle, but I don't know if we need a pumpkin face polish. I don't know, like the fruity scents make sense to me or something like that, but I just can't get behind a pumpkin face polish. I am so sorry. ColourPop 43 Beauty, I love you guys. <laughs> I love a lot of your products, but I just don't know how I feel about like a pumpkin product like that, you know? Maybe for a lotion, like I can understand that 100%, but like, I don't know, when I saw this, it just didn't feel right to me, if that makes sense. I'm not used to doing these, so I feel like very harsh talking like negatively like this. <laughs> I don't know, just immediately when I saw this, my first reaction was just no. They're really creative with their products, but I just think pumpkin is a little bit too far for a face product. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Next up, we have the Glossier Monochromes. And these had some people talking in the comments. A lot of people were like, where is the fourth eyeshadow? Because there is definitely space for a fourth eyeshadow. But the thing is, I was thinking, it's like, would you want four eyeshadows of basically the same color, the same hue? I feel like that would be very excessive. I don't know. And also I get it, like it's Glossier, it's supposed to be like a wash of color, it's not supposed to be like this intricate eye look, I guess. It's just supposed to be like, oh, if you want a little matte and then a little shimmer, there you go, easy peasy. But I don't know, I, I get it, like I really do get it and I do actually, I'm interested in the monochrome, so yeah, I think it's cool. Um, I haven't tried them yet myself, but I think I like this. I'm interested in it for sure. Next up, we have the Tower 28 Sunny Days SPF 30 Tinted Sunscreen Foundation. I want to get this so bad. This is probably something I'll pick up during the Sephora VIB sale. I think that's coming up soon. There's a Sephora sale soon. It's a tinted sunscreen foundation, so that just sounds amazing. And I love basically everything I've tried from Tower 28. They're a brand I really like, so yeah. I think this is awesome. You guys know I love my like tinted products, my SPF products. I love like cushion foundations. I'm interested to see because it does say foundation, so I'm like, is this coverage or is it more like sheer? I'm interested to learn more about that, but yeah, this I'm this seems pretty pretty cool. Next we have the Halloween 2021 Hocus Pocus collection from ColourPop and I think this is adorable, but I don't have like this deep connection to Hocus Pocus that a lot of people have I feel like because I didn't watch it until for the first time until like my senior year of college I think so yeah a lot of people like have this childhood connection to Hocus Pocus and they're like obsessed but I do think it's super cute and I was actually sent this collection but I gave the makeup to someone who would actually like appreciate it and who loves Hocus Pocus but I did keep the candle um it's actually burning right now I can get it this is probably not safe, but here's the candle. It smells really good and yeah. But yeah, it's a really cute collection. So there's like a palette, there's some super shock shadows, there's a mirror I think that is. Um, there's a lot in this Hocus Pocus collection, but, but because I don't have that like deep rooted connection in Hocus Pocus, I can't say that I'm like particularly excited about it, but I do think it's so cute. And I think it's interesting how they did two different Hocus Pocus collections. They did one last year, I believe, and then this one's a little bit different, but I guess they saw like how many people were obsessed with Hocus Pocus and they're like, let's do it again. And I don't know, 
it seems like a lot of people love it. So yeah. So here is a pumpkin skincare product that I can 100% get behind. This is the Trader Joe's Pumpkin Body Butter. I don't know if this is out yet, but I need to get this. That looks amazing. I love Trader Joe's skincare products. Um, I use their shaving cream. It's amazing and it's like $3. And then there's also right next to it a pumpkin overnight face mask. I don't know how I feel about that, but I would 100% get the Trader Joe's pumpkin body butter. So I might pick that up. Oh, it's only $4.99. I will be picking that up this weekend. Okay, so I think I had like one or two people tag me in this. This is the Natasha Denona mini glam palette for the holidays. This is like a holiday release, but it came out during the fall. So like it's still, it's included in this video, but I was interested in the glam palette, but like I could not, I don't want to pay full price for that. So this is cute. And this is something that I can get behind because I love small palettes so much. So this is really cute. I love this. You have like a matte, you have like a lighter shade and then you have a shimmer. So like I would, I think I would get that. Next we have this Tower 28 Duo for the holidays and it is a new lip jelly in uh, chestnut, which is a milky burnt caramel, which is a new shade. And then it comes with a clear one as well. Um, I think this is really cute. I feel like that would be a cute gift, but I don't know if I'm too interested in it because I have a ton of the Tower 28 lip jellies, which I love, but I don't know if it would get that much wear. I'm more of like a red or pink or clear lip gloss kind of person. I don't know if I would wear this orangey, burnt orange shade all that much, but I think it's super cute and it's very, very fall. Like I feel like that's such a fall lip shade, but for gloss, I, this isn't like a shade of gloss I would typically reach for, but I think it's really cute for the holidays and for fall as well. Then we have this Morphe Sour Patch Kids collection, which Sour Patch is like my favorite candy. I really do love Sour Patch Kids, but I'm not interested in this. Maybe like the lip gloss is cute. Um, the sponges are really cute, but like I would not get that palette or honestly, I wouldn't get anything from the collection, but it just doesn't seem like something I would get. It's not up my alley, but I think it's cute. And if you're like a makeup collector and you love collecting fun, collections like this i could see how that would be really exciting and like intriguing to you but for me i'm like it's cute but not my thing you know okay so m cosmetics released these dewy cosmetic pearl eyeshadows and they look stunning i really do want to pick one up i've only seen them on social media i haven't even watched reviews on youtube about them or anything but just from like the swatches i've seen on instagram they look so beautiful like m cosmetics just they kill it, they really do, every time. I need to watch some reviews to see if there's any I wanna pick up, but they just seem like so, so pretty and the shades are gorgeous. Also, if I am remembering this correctly, I think they just came out with a rewards program or they're going to come out with a rewards program, so that's good. <laughs> so yeah, these look stunning. The swatches look beautiful. I just, I don't really, I don't know the price, so I'll have to, I don't know if I'm gonna get it or not, but they look really beautiful. Next we have the Rare Beauty Mascara. And I was skeptical about mascaras that weren't drugstore mascaras until I tried the Um Cosmetics Pick Me Up Mascara and my life changed forever. So I don't know, like immediately my first thought is like not interested. I don't wanna spend like more than $9 on a mascara, but also I would definitely do that for the M Cosmetics mascara. So I don't know, maybe I should give it a shot, but usually I don't buy mascaras that are not drugstore. So I, my first thought is not interested, but also maybe it's life-changing like the M Cosmetics mascara, who knows? But there has been a lot of like hype around it. There's been a lot of posts about it. So it seems to be a good mascara, but I'm just really not super interested in purchasing a mascara. Like I like to spend, if I'm gonna spend like a little bit more money on makeup, I'd like it to be something like a blush or a lip product or something that really excites me. Mascara doesn't really excite me, so I don't wanna spend that much money on it. Next we have the Lights Lacquer Fall Collection and it's the Who Did It Collection, I think? An Autumn Mystery, Who Did It? So there are one, two, three, four, five, six shades. And these are really pretty. I would wear, I'd wear all of these, honestly. They're gorgeous. 
Lights Lacquer really got me into nail polish again. Like I used to be super into nail polish in middle school and then I like fell out of it. And then when Kathleen Lights came out with her, for her first brand, um, her nail polish brand, it got me like so into it. I bought two of them and I would like watch all of her new collection videos and I was just like super, super into it. So Lights Lacquer is like, it's a really cool company. I think they have amazing quality of nail polishes and I love like how exciting it is. Like she always gets super into the photo shoots and there's always like a story behind the collection and you can tell she puts so, so much thought into like the names, everything like that. So I really like this collection. I think it's awesome. The ones that I think I would, I'm, I would like the most are that green one, like that deep foresty green one. I think that's so pretty as well as that like burgundy one and then the one on the far left, like that red kind of burnt orangey color, not the orange next to it, but it's like the red one. Those look so cute for fall. And that's it. That's the last one that I screenshot. So thank you guys so much for watching. That was really fun. I am not used to doing those, but I did have fun kind of just looking through the makeup that was released recently and just chatting about it. Um, these videos are really fun to do, really refreshing, I guess, just to switch up the style of content, but let me know your thoughts if you enjoy this style of video or not. <laughs> I would love to do this for like winter releases maybe, just chat about some things that look cute to me or some things that I have my eye on. Um, like I mentioned previously, I don't purchase new makeup all that often because I do like to be particular about like what I buy because I do have what I think is like a good amount already. So I don't want to just like buy makeup just to buy makeup and then never use it so i'm really trying to be um conscious about that so yeah this is just like all for fun just to like chat about new makeup releases but i'm not gonna go like buy everything i just talked about so i just wanted to say that but i do really appreciate like the creativity the packaging like i just love makeup i think it's so fun and exciting so i do like chatting about these things yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you did enjoy it i hope you're having a great october can you guys believe it's like approaching the end of october i'm so excited for the next few weeks though halloween all the fun content i have so much fun content coming your way so make sure to subscribe if you have not subscribed already and i will see you guys in the next one bye everyone